The second collection being taken up at all, okay, sorry. As part of our outreach to our dear brothers and sisters, let us continue encouraging our parishioners who are consumed with fear to come back so that we together can give thanks to our God, even in the midst of all the storms we face. God bless you and stay safe. I want to say thank you to all of you for coming out today and recognizing Christ as our rock on which our life has to navigate. And I still want to invite you, my dear brothers and sisters, to take the announcement of encouraging each other very seriously because we have our brothers and sisters who are so scared of coming closer to Christ as the rock. And it is your responsibility, is my responsibility, to say that we encourage them. Because if we cannot take our fears to Christ as our rock, to whom shall we go for refuge? I have so many testimonies and I bear witness to what I say. I can give you one. On Thursday, I called a family of the Spanish, because the Spanish community is like the most hit one. And his, the guy told me, my wife has been persuading me to come. But Father, it is Corona. And he was at work. So, but even at work, it is Corona. Why must you think that it's only in the church where that corona is? Maybe they chased it from all over and it came like a sacrament confined itself in the church. It's not. So let us take it seriously and encourage you know a friend, you know a parishioner that has been part of our faith life and for the longest time you have not seen this person. If each one of us took this responsibility upon ourselves, then what a beauty that we come together and worship. Thank you so much. And again, we keep asking ourselves the same fundamental question as our homework. If Christ asked me today, what do you say I am? What will be my answer?